dad, the phenomenon, came here when he was 17 in high school. This kid is getting better every day. So overseas, G League, NBA, who knows? We're gonna fix a couple hoops because a lot of hoops took some hits. Each hoop is gonna differ on its durability level, but this is why we're the hoop doctors. And we come around the neighborhood, check, see how the hoops evolve, they get cracked down, we put them in another one. Another day in survival hoops here. 2020 has not been canceled. I'm very big on color. I like all of the hoops. I want them to pop when you look at them. So Nick and I differ. I'm pop. He's, uh, his aesthetic is more, it is what it is. Let me put it up. It's beautiful as it is. Oh yeah. The thing is like, you take down one of our hoops, we'll put 10 back up. That's going to be the model, so. Yeah. This particular hoop, uh, the mattress was actually found by a woman named Fran who donated, donated it for a backboard. Um, she saw it in an alley, just picked it right up and brought it over to the studio, which is really cool. And the, uh, the rim, the rim is actually the, uh, the push part of a wheelchair. So I think this is especially um, beautiful that it's here with our fallen soldiers, many that have returned in wheelchairs. Uh, so it's, uh, it's symbolic as well. Oh no, yes, two for two. You're pretty good. I'm gonna come out here and practice. Things do a fine. This is the man is good. Simmered up, I'm ready to go. That's what I'm talking about. Through the spear. It wasn't a very strong, you know, strong structure here. But the good news is, is the next one has a few more brackets on it to make it stronger. And people are enjoying the game that we love, man. This is what unites us. So. Every Sunday, we're going to stay dedicated, man. People, people say, oh, hey, he's taking the weekend off. There ain't no weekend off. The game don't stop, man. This is what I do. This is what I live for. This is the reason why I wake up every day. It's to play and share this game of basketball. So that's what keeps my heart beat going. That's what keeps me inspired. So that's what we're going to keep doing. So. We make hoops. Shout out my boy Zapata. I've been on the road for us 90 days. Right now he did a beautiful demonstration. We had this old broken backboard. So all these parts are different um, pieces. You know, this backboard it was uh, salvaged from the streets. It was uh, abandoned. Nobody wanted it. So what I did was, you know, bring it back to life. Put some art on it. Um, the rest of it was like broken down sign. Uh, it was a stop sign that. You know, we, we picked up two off the street, um, we put it all together, you know, make something out of it. And, uh, you know, to us it's uh, keeping hoop alive, you know, survival hoops. The lottery bucket number two was a shift. Lottery bucket? Try the lottery. Ooh! <laughs> all that. <laughs> Uh, you break it, you gotta pay for it, man. This is a thousand dollar hoop right there. Like, I was here before we went on tour, and there's already new hoops back here. You, each one is different. You don't, you, don't, you don't know what you're gonna get when you come back here. You look at all these hoops in the yard, and just each hoop is different. It has its own creative message behind it. And it's like cool to see like all the creativity mixed with basketball. And it's literally being made right here. Activity and basketball coming together and we're putting up hoops all over the place. So yeah, COVID's going on and everything's, you know, going crazy in the world right now. But if you got a hoop in your back alleyway or in your backyard, front yard, you can still get up shots and play basketball, you know? Go ahead. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this guitar one. This one's sick. My dad was in a band you know, so uh, he used to play the guitar. My uncle was on the drums. So uh, I'm gonna go with this uh, guitar one for my favorite hoop back here. I think I was running out of ideas 
I was like, yo, chairs is buckets. And I was like, chairs is buckets. Everything that clicked. So now we bought about like seven, eight chairs on the street. Yep, nice. You steal the ball for me. You win $100. I was gonna take it outside. Um, if I score this basket, then it's over. And, you know, what, like, what do you got to lose? You just got to try to steal the ball. So people wanted a part two. I said in the video, if you guys hit 100,000 likes, I will do a part two and it surpassed 100,000 likes. So we're back out here in LA. So we're about to film part two. Survival hoops, baby. Any means necessary. Slow that baby up. Oh, there goes the ball. Back to where the game really belongs. We're back where Venice ball was born on that beautiful Venice Beach boardwalk where people from all walks of life come every day to get buckets. See survival hoops there, survival hoops there. I love when I drive down the street and I see all the hoops in order. It just it just brings a, a little bit of order to this chaos, you know? Like we just walk. And today only, right, just in the morning, the two hour I looked out the window, I saw nine people walk dribble their ball down to the court just to realize the courts are locked and dribble back like this with their heads down so when they come back with their heads down they'll have a hoop and something to cheer them on it's not Venice Beach Court but it's boardwalk survival hoops different style different style but the game is still the same if you steal a ball for me you win a, I'll give you hundred dollars cash you have nothing to lose it's up to you if you want to go though and then if I score, then it's just, it's over. You lose nothing. But if you steal the ball from me, you win $100 cash, so. Congratulations, my friend. You just ripped me, man. Good job. Good shit, bro. Good shit. phenomenon came here when he was 17 in high school I already knew the kid was going to be special he blessed the VBL stage his following went up he was like he had the option he's like I can go college ball and you know get a free education or I can make YouTube and make millions 
this kid decided to make his money, take care of his family, and it's inspiring, man. This kid is getting better every day. So overseas, G League, NBA, who knows? It's in Venice that's still shut down for the last seven months, but the hoop on the block don't stop, man. One on one, two on two, three on three, shootout, pig. Keep the game going, man. T joined in showing all the different ways to make buckets. We're hoping to make this a global phenomenon. Right now he's bringing that back to Wisconsin. It's gonna be a cold winter. We're gonna to have to find a way, maybe firing buckets? What kind of buckets? Yeah, you know? we're gonna make buckets out of whatever we can to survive the cold winter. Um, we're just putting the creativity of the brain and the mind behind everything. And that's, that's what we do, baby.